Okay, I'm finally getting around to getting this box open. This is a swarm trap box that I put out uh, early April. It sat for several weeks. I did check it. Uh, didn't have anything, didn't have anything, and I kind of quit checking it for a while. Uh, probably two, maybe even three weeks went by. I went back, checked it, and sure enough, bees had moved in, which is always exciting. However, I'm not sure how long they were in there. They could be, could have been in there two to three weeks. They could have only been in there a week or two. However, I think it was a good while, because if you look in the main entrance, you can see they propolized the hole about halfway closed. When I made this box, I didn't really understand a whole lot about bees. It was early in my beekeeping career, and I didn't realize that the bees don't need all that big of a hole for their entrance. And obviously these girls decided they did not need that big of a hole, and they sealed it off. Now, this has also been sitting back here for two weeks, just sitting here on its own. Uh, they've oriented to their new location, and it's finally time for me to open it up and find out what I have in there. See what a month of free building has done. You could tell when I picked up this box that it was not a very large swarm that had moved in. It was not very heavy. And as you can see, it looks like they are only on the center frame. It had some old comb and maybe this other one to the side. And when I put these boxes together, you can see six frames. I put a pin in the outer frames to help hold them together. So while I'm carrying it up a ladder and tying it onto a tree and driving it around in my truck, these frames aren't rattling around real bad. Makes it a little bit of a pain right now, but that's a small price to pay for knowing that these frames aren't gonna fall off the frame rest and have to deal with that while trying to tie this down. Okay. Simple as that. And we're just gonna put these girls into a nuke box for now. Yeah, nothing there. So you use starter strips, simple as that. And they have not done anything with these just yet. This was just some old comb from a previous hive. Left it in there because I thought that was a very nice starter strip. Let's see what we got here. We got bees on this next one. Yeah, nice little circle of comb. Got some honey in there. Built right in the center, which is good because I don't think that one had much of a starter strip. Let's move that back. Right, this next frame should tell us quite a bit more. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice circle of brood. Falling around the outside. today. Yeah. It's a nice healthy frame. Let's you know how long they've been in here. We got capped over brood. That's a good sign. This is a pretty old frame. And this frame was just empty old comb. It was about time to rotate out of the highs. Of course now it's back into one, but that smell of a hive things to attract bees to a swamp box. Now this frame, they have completely built this on their own. This had nothing but a starter strip on it. And you can see they have built it out very nicely. It's not attached at the bottom, so I can't turn it over. I've got to keep it level. 
is a very nice looking bit of comb. I'm keeping an eye out for the queen. I would expect her to be on one of these two frames. Obviously she's in there because we have all kinds of brood. And I can see eggs down on this corner here. Very nice. It's what we like to see. Built straight, no problems. So they have almost built out two of their own combs. Plenty of brood going. Looking very good. Hmm. Certainly like to see the queen, but not at this angle. I'll probably find her when I go to put it in the new nuke box. She could be hiding on the wall too. These girls seem very calm, which is always a plus. Okay, I'm going to set them up with some already drawn out combs. These are ones I extracted earlier this spring. That'll help them get going a little bit better. I'll put one in there, and this one we'll set aside for now. I've got the new nuke box set up with the entrance real close to where the previous entrance was. And we'll just go ahead and drop these girls right in. See if I can spot that queen. I never said I was the best at spotting queens. But I know she's in there, and I know she's laying good. And you notice the brood pattern. It isn't solid. It's a little bit shoddy. Could be many causes for that, not the least of which is the bees may already be hatching out because they're mature. They could be exhibiting some hygienic traits of pulling out ones that were not healthy or had died in the cells. It's hard to say, but seeing the laying pattern on the rest of the combs, I don't think it's the fault of the queen directly, because this is solid brood and eggs all the way out to the edge of this comb. Not bad for what was probably a one pound swarm a month ago. Not spotting her, but I'm not going to take all day to do it either. Drop these girls right back into their same spot. The field bees will come back. So, yeah, things look a little different, but they'll they'll figure it out. box right there. Put on the lid for a temporary nuke. And we're going to call it good. It's a successful swarm catch. These bees will hopefully build up over the summer here. In fall I'll probably have to feed them a little bit, but we should be able to overwinter these. And that's it for today. You can see they're already kind of circling around trying to figure things out, but some of them are landing and going right on in. They'll reorient to this new configuration, no problem. And we should have a good new nucleus hive from a swarm with no money spent other than my time building the boxes, which obviously is out of scrap material. A little bit of time, a little bit of bees.